good morning internet well they say a week is a long time in politics it's a lifetime in a pandemic things have changed quite a lot this week this time last week i was in the middle of a super busy couple of weeks socially it was the middle of pride there was quite a few shows at little andromeda i booked to see i was pretty much going to be out every night for the next couple of weeks and most of the weekends as well but then things started changing really fast because the number of COVID-19 cases in New Zealand started to go up so the first sign of change was last weekend when the government announced that anyone arriving into New Zealand was going to need to be in self-isolation for at least 14 days and that's when it started to affect me because I was supposed to be going to the Gold Coast to go to the Book Crossing Convention in April and that kind of made that impossible especially when the next day the Australian government introduced the same rule so it would have been go to Australia, sit in a hotel room for two weeks and then go home again and then have to take another two weeks off of work to self-isolate so that wasn't going to happen and the convention committee made the decision pretty much the next day to just cancel the convention completely. But at that stage, things in New Zealand were still pretty normal and, you know, everyone was still going to things, events were still on. Little from which and I even talked about, instead of going to Australia, maybe we could do a road trip around New Zealand or something. And then as the week went on, things started to get cancelled. Up until Wednesday I'd been going to all the events I'd planned to go to and then suddenly it was like no, tomorrow night event is cancelled, next night event is cancelled and it started getting a little bit more serious feeling. And then the borders closed for the first time in New Zealand's history which is weird, we're isolated but not isolated because trade can still get in, it's just people can't. It still didn't feel that serious though. I was doing things like washing my hands a lot <laughs> and you know being more aware about not shaking people's hands and things like that at work but it didn't quite seem real but given that my diabetes puts me in a high risk group I did talk to my boss and say well I feel safe enough going to work at the moment but I am planning for the point where I'm going to have to be working from home and the point I decided on was if there were any suspected cases on campus or if there was a community transference outbreak in Christchurch then those are the times where I'd say no I need to put my health ahead of work I'll work from home because I can do most of my work from home. There's only a few things that I won't better do. Yeah, that was all good. Planned that with my boss. We're all happy. I was expecting to maybe get another week or two at work. And then yesterday, the Prime Minister made an announcement. The country is now at a level two threat level, which means that anyone who's at risk has to self-isolate immediately. And that's me. <laughs> so. That's it, I'm in quarantine now. Could be for weeks or months, or might even be for a year. We have no idea at the moment, just sit tight and follow instructions, really. It's, it's strange. I mean, I'm really lucky. I'm, one, I'm lucky I live in New Zealand because we've got a really good healthcare system. The government's acted really quickly on this so there's a good chance that the cases will be contained and it won't turn into a full-blown epidemic like it is in some countries. I'm also lucky that I can work from home. My job is pretty secure. The university has said they're going to keep paying us. I'm also really lucky to have Caleb and his girlfriend in the backyard because it means I've got people on hand who can do things like go to the supermarket for me, do, do the stuff that I'm not able to do now, like leave the house. <laughs> I can leave the house, I, I went out for a walk this morning. It 
that's fine. I'm just not allowed to go anywhere where I'll have contact with people. So I can walk as far as I like as long as I keep a distance from everyone. It's so weird and kind of surreal though to think that the show I went to on Friday night that could be the last time I go to a, a theatre for a really, really long time. The friend I saw on Saturday, that could be the last person that I have like face-to-face -face contact with. I can't just pop down to the dairy and get something if I've forgotten it in the supermarket order. I, I can't go and get my hair cut. It was one of the things that was on my plan for this weekend and I really need it and I just realised that's something I can't do. I'm going to have to learn to cut my own hair. <laughs> if I look really weird in the next video you'll know why. <laughs> These are really strange times we're living in. But I suppose that's the other way I'm lucky, living in Christchurch. In Christchurch we've been through strange times. We had those years during the earthquakes where the whole world was tipped upside down and nothing was normal and we survived and we got through and we realised that even when times are strange the strangeness becomes a new sort of normal pretty fast and you get used to things and you just that's the way you get on with things and I think the whole world's learning that lesson now that even if it's not the normal you'd like to have it's a normal that you can survive and you can get through so kia kaha internet stay strong I'll see you next time Bye.